Hey everyone, it's Starly and welcome back to this channel. Today is going to be a tutorial video. We will be converting your landscape video and turn them into a vertical format so that you can upload this in your Instagram Reels, TikTok videos, and even YouTube Shorts. So kung nagahanap ka ng easy to follow tutorials to learn ito, why don't you click the like, subscribe, and notification bell para maging updated ka sa aking mga upcoming tutorials. Okay, let's get to the tutorial and this time, I assume na may konting kaalaman ka na about Final Cut Pro. At kung naghahanap ka ng beginner's guide for Final Cut Pro users, why don't you comment below para naman mapaghandaan ko yan. Now, eyes on the screen. Here you can see that I have several project files. And ang gagamitin ko for this example is ang aking previous project which is the M Audio Preview. Naka-landscape yung video na to. So the first thing that I will do is to duplicate this. To do this, all you have to do is to right-click the project and then click Duplicate As. My pop-up window na lalabas and here you can change the project name. For my example, lalagyan ko lang ng extension na YouTube Shorts because I'm planning to put this up in YouTube Shorts. Ang susunod nating babaguhin is ang file format. By default, it's 1080p. All you have to do is just to click the drop-down arrow and select Vertical. Click the Smart Conform, then the resolution should be 720 by 1280, then leave the rest the same as what I have here on screen. After that, you can click OK. This time you can see Analyzing Timeline Clips. Ito yung trabaho ni Smart Conform kanina. It's analyzing the clips so that it can give you the best resolution out of the video format na vertical na sinelect mo kanina. So ayan na. Kitang kita naman, naging vertical na yung video mo after doing the steps. But for this project, I can see na may mga parts na hindi na kailangan. So, in order to delete the clips that I don't need, all I have to do is just to hold down shift in my keyboard and click the clips that I don't need. After that, I will hit delete in my keyboard. Now, merong konting problem dito sa video ko. As what you can see itong sa dulo, yung text, naputol na siya because it's from a landscape video and now it's vertical. So, personally, may gagawin ako. Depende pa rin to sa video nyo. But if in case you encounter this, then maybe this can help. Nakikita nyo ba yung mga text? That's actually Unbox With Me at It's Starly. And that's the name of this channel. So kung di nyo pa napapanood yung unboxing videos ko, panoorin nyo na rin pagkatapos ng video na to. Pero mas maganda kung mag-subscribe na rin kayo. Anyway, back to the tutorial. Dito sa upper left side ng Final Cut Pro, makikita nyo yung text and generators. Dito sa search tab, type mo lang ang shape. Next, itadrag lang natin yung shape papunta sa timeline. Dito sa inspector window, iti-change lang natin yung properties ng shape. So, from circle, gagawin natin siyang rectangle. Pagkatapos, i-uncheck lang natin yung outline. After that, i-adjust lang natin yung shape. Drag nyo lang yung sides. Hanggang sa ma-cover up yung original na shape. Pwede nyo rin palang gamitin yung mga handles dito sa transform. Remember lang, Y is for vertical adjustment and X is for horizontal adjustment. Next, ipoposition lang natin ng tama yung rectangle. Then after that, ilalagay lang natin siya sa tamang timing. Next, may makikita kang transition button dito sa baba. Hahanapin lang natin yung flow. Ito lang yung gagamitin kong transition. At itadrag ko lang to dito sa dulo. After that, i-adjust lang natin ng konti yung duration. Tapos, itatest natin ng paulit-ulit. Just to make sure na hindi obvious yung changes. Now, once we're good, mag a naman tayo ng titles. I-click natin yung titles, and then in the search bar, itatype natin yung typewriter. drag natin yung typewriter text papunta sa timeline. This time naman, ina-adjust ko lang ng konti. Because it seems like hindi naka-center yung text. Now, before typing, i-change muna natin yung properties ng text. 
Let's change the color from white to black. Then, papalitan ko lang yung text. Ia-adjust lang natin yung length ng text. Tapos, babaguhin din natin yung font size and font style. Next, ita play ka lang yung typewriter text. So, as what you can see, medyo mapagal siya. And the next thing that we will do is i-adjust yeah, natin yung duration niya. Now, click the inspector dyan sa upper right. Yung may T icon, click nyo lang yan. And then sa duration, from 60, i-change natin to 30. Playback natin ulit. Looks nice. Okay. So, kung happy ka na sa adjustments, pwede na natin export yung project. Click anywhere in your timeline and then hit Command A in your keyboard para ma-highlight lahat ng clips. Then, after that, click the Share button. So, here, you can select either 720 or 1080. But for this demonstration, we will select 4K. So we have the export window here. You can see that we have the title of the project, the description, the creator. You can always rename all of this. And you can also check the settings of this project and compare it with yours. And once you're good, you can just click next. So I exported my final project in the desktop and this is how it looks. If you find this video helpful, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And of course, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can watch my next tutorial. Thank you again for watching and please continue to support this channel. See you again on the next.